Back again with another video because I have another problem. I've uh, recorded a lot of uh, footage from Call of Duty Modern Warfare and it has this annoying noise in it which I can't use for the moment. I think they'll agree that's quite off-putting. So rather than re-record everything all over again, which is going to take another couple of hours, um, editing this will actually be a lot quicker and it's not too difficult to do. All you need to do is make sure that you have Adobe Audition installed and this will work for any noises that you don't want in your audio uh, which have crept in somehow, like this one. So you just need to right click on the clip and go to edit in Adobe Audition. It's going to open up the uh, audio clip of that video clip and you want to click on this icon here which says show spectral frequency display you can also activate it by clicking shift d if you can't see this icon so if we click on this it's going to give you the overall profile of the sound going from low frequency to high frequency now what you can see here is there's several bands which basically constitute that noise. There's other waveforms in here which constitute or which represent the clicking uh, and button noises and background music of the game. But I want to get rid of these bands here because these these are what is making the noise. If I just highlight this uh, band here and click on and hit the space bar, you can hear that that's one of the sounds that make up that noise. And then if I highlight another one, you can see that's another frequency of that noise. It's a component of that noise. So all I'm gonna do is just highlight each band here and click delete. I do the same on this one and this one. This one, so I've deleted most of the bands. I suspect there's another one down here, but let's have a listen first. It sounds okay. It's not the best audio quality after editing this, but it will do. Once this has all been done, you just need to click on Control S to save what you've just done here. And then when you go into Adobe Premiere, you should find that it will sound exactly like what you've just manipulated in Adobe Audition. So that's done the trick. Um, I've got quite a few clips to do this to, unfortunately, about uh, six minutes worth. But it's a relatively quick and easy fix um, that's going to save this video and save me having to record it all over again. So I hope this video was useful guys. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, then feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new one. And until the next problem arises, guys, I'll see you in the next one.